everyone i am ashish ashish gopal i am from third year engineering in electronics and telecommunication from father agnar college of engineering mumbai university uh, today i will be teaching you how to make circuit layout using the software pcb wizard the reason why i have selected pcb wizard is uh, it is more easier yeah other softwares like uh, your proteus eagle are at their best but uh, as per me PCB wizard for beginners it is the best. Uh, so I'll start with the software. For time being I'll be using uh, the circuitry. 555 timer. It is a stable multi vibrator using 555 timer. The reason why I have selected this is uh, it is having all the basic components. The register capacitor, uh, your IC, integrated circuit. right? So I'll be telling you how to make layout of this circuit so I have since I have opened our PCB wizard since I have to make the PCB before that I have to make schematic of my circuit that is .sh file so control plus n it will give me new file untitled file okay so I start making my circuit okay for making the circuit I need some library right so here I have two galleries one your component gallery and another symbol gallery that is circuit symbols and PCB components since I have to plot my circuit I'll be going for circuit symbols this is how my circuit symbol gallery look like okay so let's start building our socket first thing 555 timer I see right Since it is an integrated circuit, here you will find all the components in PCB wizard. Since I have to go for 555 timer IC, as it is integrated circuit, I will be going in integrated circuits. Here 555 timer is readily available. Simply click, click it once, this the component will be available under your cursor. Okay. So, by one click, place it simply. Then next, you will find all your ICs over here. Well, if IC is not available, simply put IC holders instead of that since you are only interested in uh, your PCB layout, right? Next component, component is your register. Since we all know that register capacitors are passive components, I will be going in the option passive components. Their register is available, simply again one click and one click to place. Since the register requirement is 10 kilo ohms double click on that register you will get option to change the values I have 10 k ohms I need one more register you have two options simply copy that register again and place it otherwise simply again click on that component sorry, circuit symbol gallery and place it again I did second option again change the values 10 kilos. We got my registers. I need two capacitors. One of 100 nanofarad and another is of 10 nanofarad. Again capacitor is uh, your passive component. Okay. Then over here I have capacitor. I'll take two capacitors. One I have placed it like this. One more I want. Simply I have copied. Paste. I got it under my cursor. I have to change the value of C1 that is of 100 nanofarad so I have to change this micro to nano I got my capacitor again I have to change C2 I, have, I want 10 nanofarad I have to change this micro to nano and I got my capacitor of 10 nanofarad now I have what near about all the components I have to join them all I have to connect them all there is no need to find out where the wire option is simply go on the terminal of your register or any component there you will get wire option simply double click on that and join other terminal same thing ok this is connected to oh yeah, right then 7 pin is connected to register 10k 6 and 2 are short as per the circuit diagram 
I proceed from that point only and I will connect it like this. Fine. Since kappa, both the capacitors are grounded on second terminal, I will be connecting both the capacitors. Okay. Now, I need one power supply. Right. So I will go into power supplies. There you have options whether to connect battery or regulated power supply. I'll go for a DC voltage source. Fine. I kept it like this. I have to rotate this now. I'll press Ctrl R. Simply. One more time. Fine. I've got positive sign on the left. So that I'll connect it over here. This connected to positive. <coughs> 4 and 8 are short shorted and they are connected to VCC fine and this pin I have to connect it to 9 volt negative ok done and from pin number 3 the output is there I have to connect I'll connect one connector for that. See connectors. I'll connect single inline connectors. Since I need to connect it, I need to use it for output. I'll go for 2 pin SI. SI means single inline connector. I'll place it over here, which is CN1. I'll connect positive of that over here. And second pin, I'll ground it. Okay. Also, one more question. I have to ground pin number one. Fine. I'm done with socket. Okay. So now I'll tell. I'll close this for timing. So now your circuit is ready. The stable multivibrator using 555 timer IC. Okay. Now you have to save this. Go to file. Save. Save by any name. Fine. Now I have to convert this. Here. This is my design. I have to make PCB. So go to Tools. There's an option Convert. Here you will find Design to PCB. Right? You have to convert your design to PCB board. Now here you will find two options. One, PCB wizard will do whatever he wants to do on that circuit. How you have to design he will decide other option you have to decide how you have to go for your circuit how you want your components uh, in what manner they should be designed they should be placed likewise i'll go for both options first i'll go for pcb wizard option no let pcb wizard specially specify those options for me next convert this is how pcb wizard will randomly select the circuit components and it will place it will make a layout for you <laughs> without asking you <laughs> this is how layout as per PCB wizard as per computer right now I'll tell you how to go as per your wish so then tools convert and select other option that is yes I wish to decide how my design is converted. Next, the first thing PCB wizard will ask whether you want your PCB a rectangular shape or circular over here. I'll go for rectangular. Then here if you want to specify the size of your PCB, just simply click this checkbox and put your size in. I have no problem with this size. I'll go for next. Just check now this shows you how many components are there. Just check once this very is the right components are available over here or not. And they has to be our next. And then if your circuit is having a uh, high hidden digital power supply, then you have to mention that, mention the details of that over here by selecting this checkbox. Since we don't have anything like that, I'll keep it as, as it is. Next. 
then here you will find many options like automatically place components on board yes we have to select that automatically which the user has to keep then uh, animate the components yeah, if you want to watch that animation that PC wizard will uh, pick one pick the components one by one and it will place on PCB so PCB uh, that if you want you have to select this if you don't want simply uncheck that okay allow components to be rotated especially go for this then <coughs> fit placement to the board right and this option take into account symbol position uh, reason why it is provided is suppose if you want your see it, it may happen like uh, your PCB final PCB will not have the component position same as your circuit layout right so if you want that select this so that your PCB wizard will take into account each symbol each circuit symbol positions so next then here you have to select the grid size and uh, your track size I especially go for 0 0.100 grid with 0 0.040 inch tracks ok next then automatically remove remove this copper unnecessary copper next then convert Ooh, here goes your circuit here goes your layout Yeah, it may happen that your circuit will, uh, PC wizard will not give 100% conversion of your design. So simply make space for it. And again go to tools, auto root, root all nets. Rotate it. I am done with 100% of net connections ok this is how your layout will be this is real board how it will look like in the real board then this is auto which you have to print on your PCB thank you